Welcome to our channel, Science in a Nutshell, for juniors 4, 5 and 6. Senses at Work Questions Part 2 If you haven't watched Part 1 yet, so I will leave it here in the uh, description underneath the video so you can watch it first before going on for Part 2. So let's start with question number one. Read the following scenario. In which part of the, the event is your nervous system receiving a message? Which one of these four choices your brain is going to receive the message? When you touch the cactus thorn, when your finger touch the cactus thorn, or when you pull your hand away, when you withdraw your hand, or when you yell out, or when your finger begins to bleed. Hmm. Your brain always receives the information by the time your sensory organ, like the skin in this, uh, in this case, touches the thing or receives the message. So, which will be number eight, that's right, you touch your finger, to a cactus thorn, that's right, to the cactus spines, thorn means spines, okay? So, here with question number two. What are the two organs that make up the central nervous system? What are the two organs that make up the central nervous system? The brain, cerebellum, and the spine, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system, the sensory and motor system, the spinal cord and the brain. That's right, the spinal cord and the brain. The other three uh, choices above, you already don't know anything about them. You haven't studied them. So exclude them. And here you are going to solve by this way in this question. You will choose what you already know, which is the spinal cord and the brain. Number three, Amanda suddenly woke up and smelled something burning. She kept, crept down the stairs to see what was happening. She found her parents reading and sitting by the fireplace, which was burning wood. Why did Amanda wake up? The smell of the fire sent a signal through her blood cells to her brain and she woke up. The smell of the fire sent a signal through her nerves to her brain and she woke up. Amanda's nose was stuffy from a cold and she could not sleep. Amanda was too cold upstairs to sleep. So let me tell you that when you smell a burning thing, your sensory organ, which is the nose, will send to your brain an alert that there might be a fire. So we need to run from the danger or we need to see what is the danger to keep away from it. So it will be number B, which is the smell of the fire sent a signal through her nerves to her brain and she woke up. Number one or number A will not be right because it's telling us that the signal will be sent through her blood cells and that's not right. So that's why we will choose B. Question number four. Eyes squint instinctively to avoid light when bright light falls on them suddenly. Which two systems are involved in this process? Can you see here? This is how your eyes are going to squint when the light is near to them. So, is it the nervous system and muscular system or nervous and respiratory, circulatory and muscular, circula uh, circulatory and respiratory? That's right. Your nervous system and your muscular system works together so you can squint your eyes uh, very fast. That's right. Okay. Question number five. On a hot summer day, Jack left the pool and began to climb a ladder. 
to his tree house. He heard his toe by bumping it on the ladder as he climbed into the tree house. How did Jack know that he had hurt his toe? The nerves in his hurt toe sent a signal through his body to his brain or the blood cells in his toe sent a signal through the body to his brain. Jack toes became very cold and numb. Jack toe became smaller than before he had bumped uh, it on the ladder. Like, which answer will be the right one? We can see here number A is telling us that the nerves in his her toe, her toe is covered with what? Is covered with the skin and it has for sure hmm, sensory receptors, right? So the sensory receptors, which are a type of nerves in his toe, will send a signal to his what? To his brain to be processed, to tell him that he has that he has hurt himself. That's right. So number A will be the right answer. Question number six. Peter stopped suddenly on his bike because he heard a car speed by him. Which system received the external signal of hearing that enabled Peter to stop his bike, to respond to it and stop his bike? Is it circulatory system, excretory system, muscular system, or nervous system? Yes, that's right. It's nervous system because your nervous system is responsible for collecting the information from surrounding environment and from your body and then this will send it to the brain to be processed and then it will give the right response to his uh, external messages or the messages from your body. Question number seven. How is your nervous system like a pizza delivery restaurant? Let's read the uh, four choices and see which one will be like a similarity between nervous system and pizza delivery restaurant. Number one, it needs fuel to run efficiently. That's not right. Number two, orders are sent out based on different uh, messages that come in, exactly like your nervous system. Your nervous system will send response according to the messages they get from your sensory receptors. So this is the similarity. So number B will be the correct answer. If you read, let's read, let's make sure. We need to read the whole choices to just make sure the number B is the right one. Number C says it can uh, take a long time for messages to be delivered and sent out. Well, that's not right because according to the reaction time, it takes less than one second just to respond, your, for your brain to respond or for your body to say the, the right response or to do the right decision, it will take less than one second. That's the reaction time. Number D, not everyone sends his or her orders to the same location and that not related to the nervous system at all. So it will be number B, which is orders are sent out upon the different messages that come in. Question number eight. Match each sensory organ to the type of information that the organ receptor collects. So we have our organs, the, the sensory organs, like the hand, eyes, tongue, ears, nose. And then we have some sensory information. And we would like to match the sensory information to its correct organ. The sensory information that we will have are light coming through an open window, a skunk fowl scent, heat from a hot stove, the bitter taste of a lemon, a loud noise blasting from car speakers. So you will match them together. The hand will be feeling which one of these will get which sensory information of these. Yes, heat from a hot stove. The eyes get which one of these. Yes, that's right, light coming 
through an open window. Tongue will get the bitter taste of a lemon. In the ears, it will get the loud noise blasting from car speakers. Then the last thing will be the nose. It will get what sensory information of these a skunk's foul scent. So these are the sensory organs and we match them with the sensory information. Now with question number nine. We have four statements on the nervous system, about the nervous system, and we want to see which one will be true and which one will be false. So here we have the first statement and see what is it going to be right or is it going to be wrong. A nerve, uh, nerves are constantly receiving information from the sense and sending them to the brain, even while a person is sleeping. This one is right. Your nerves will always be receiving information from your senses and then sending them to the brain. They will always be working. Then we have when a person steps on a shore rock with their bare feet, their brain is the last organ to react to the information. For sure, this one will be wrong. This is not a correct statement. Then we have each sense organ in the nervous system works on its own, independently from the brain when the brain is busy doing other jobs for the body. This statement is also wrong because all our sense organs are working together integrally in order to give information to our nervous system so we can understand our environment and tell our brain um, and then we receive information from our response from our brain to respond to our environment and to our bodies. So they are working together. The last statement, if someone were, burn, uh, were to burn their hand, the brain store this memory so that it can tell them to move away their hand next time when there is a hot surface. So this statement will be definitely right. Now with question number 10. Students in a classroom hear a tornado siren go off. Which of the following could be ways which they respond? Read and select the correct answer. Ears sense a loud sound causing the brain to send a message for their hands to cover their ears. This will be right. Their noses sense something that smells bad causing the brain to send message to a student's hand to pinch, to pinch their noses shut. The sirens send message to the student's brain that causes them to remember a scary tornado event last year. It also signals their brain to send a message for the students to yell in alarm. This one will be definitely right because your brain stores memories and it can recall them back when there is a situation uh, uh, similar to something you have passed with. Then we have the ears pick up noise and the brain tells the legs to jump out of the seat. This is definitely right. Your brain tells you what to do in each situation. So this is the right situation now to jump and to run off. Then we have the last one. Students sense sound with their ears and the brain send a message to the hands to rub their elbows in pain. Sure, this one will be wrong because it has nothing to do with the situation of the tornado siren goes off. Now we have question number 11. Place the sentences in order of how the information is processed by the brain. Number one, we have nerves in the body connect the sense organ to the brain. 
information from the environment is received by an organ, by the sense organ. The brain determines what to do with the information. The signal travels as electric pulses from the organ to the nerves in the brain. So the first thing will be information from the environment is received by the sense organ. Then the nerves in the body will connect the sense organs to the brain. And then the signals travel as electric pulses from the organ to the nerves in the brain. Then the last thing will be the brain determines what to do with the information. And this is a diagram to show us how it works. As an example for how the information processing will be working. This is, shows us if you receive an information by your nose that there is fire, you smell fire, then it's going to be processed in the brain. The nose will send the information to the brain to be processed and it will send it in the form of electric impulses to the brain to be processed. Then the brain tells your body what is the right decision to do. And then with number 12, the last question, complete the paragraph to explain how our, how our body works uh, together to process sensory information. And this question is super important. The different parts of our what system work together to receive, send and react to information. Yes, that's right. The parts of our nerve system. And then the senses dots receive information. Then it will be the sense organs, that's right, from the environment. For example, a dog will receive sound waves through its ears. Then the brain sends a message, that's right, to different parts of the body so that the, the dog knows how to respond to the information received and here this one will be respond respond means to reply to, to to do what is right it is if it is a threatening sound the brain may tell the dog to bark if it is sound of the dog's owner then the brain might tell the dog to wag his tail and that's was the last question this is was the last question thank you for watching if you have uh, uh, any question you can definitely get back to me uh, through my facebook page science in a nutshell and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to see all of our videos so you can understand all of your lessons have a great day and thanks for watching